Greetings everyone on YouTube, it's me, Alex, once again. Different intro, is that, any, is, is that any different? It's probably actually easy to understand. Anyway, <laughs> we're back on the survival world once again, and the sun is actually here this time to actually, uh, well, show me, well, some fucking light. As I gotta be honest, showing off the Borg cube in uh, in darkness was uh, more annoying than it is useful. I apologise for the horrendous amount of lag, as per usual, this world is getting more and more laggy by the day. And if, I, if we ignore the stupid person outside with a very loud engine, you probably didn't hear that, but I did. Uh, speaking of lag, I, it is certainly my intention to go back to Earth and maybe even the moon base and clean things up down there. Because, you know what, just before I get into the showcase, let me just uh, zoom all the way out. Give me a second. Let me go to Earth base. Just have a look at the mess that is Earth base. Like, look, from orbit, you can see the problem. This is, these are literally asteroid impacts. If I actually get closer and let the detail sort of uh, load on in here, like I said, apologies for the lag. Well, yeah, you can sort of see what has happened to Earth Base. And, well, yeah, um, there's a lot of asteroids if you couldn't freaking tell. Um, sure, this could be, this is actually more annoying than it is. Uh, <laughs> useful, let's just put it that way, and uh, well, here's uh, one of my ice scratches, I remade that thing, I, I mean, technically that was, uh, I made a video on this a while back, but uh, this is a different version, uh, and let's just say some of the asteroids had kind of glitched through the shield, which keeps happening sometimes, because there's a couple craters, as you can see there, there's actually no block damage, because we do have uh, energy shields, which just makes blocks tougher, as you all know. Anyway, I'm not really here to show you Earth Base, out of the fact that this is going to go, because what a mess this is. Speaking of which, anyone, uh, is anyone in the audience here who've uh, played on, like, long-term, or played long-term on a survival server, is this a common sight? It, I'm some, something tells me with Asteroids enabled, give it literally a few weeks worth of people being online and actually loaded into their bases, is this a common sight? I think it, something tells me it probably is. Hell, probably this might even not look that bad compared to some servers. And something tells me that planets will just be a hideous mess if given enough time. Anyway, let us immediately th through the power of uh, spectate cam teleport right back to the station here, which has had at least, speaking of which, a couple of upgrades to the fact that we have light here. It's a bit of an ironic thing now because, well, the sun is here, unlike in the last video where it was not. And you know what? I just saw on the sun there, there was an asteroid, uh, which would have been an asteroid eclipse. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now because I don't want to go on for too long about this ship here. You probably saw it in the last video in the background, but this is my first real attempt slash take on a TIE fighter. And I suppose, yes, just like with my Star Trek, I've been, watch I've been looking at a fair few too many Star Wars clips as well. And this is quite a big TIE to say the least. Um, but really, I, I was using the solar panels as a rough uh, reference here, um, as, well, the, uh, the the big wings on TIE Fighters were solar panels, I believe, at least in the movies and such. Speaking of which, I find that very strange. Like, it's a military kind of ship, right? Why the hell does it have so many solar panels? Can you not have, like, a, re a, a small reactor or something? But then, then again, maybe these big wings could s serve as some kind of shield of some kind, like, uh, like a physical shield rather than... Uh, Actual shields. I don't even. I don't even think ties have shields, do they? Which would, I suppose, would explain why they keep going down uh, as quickly as they do. This particular uh, variety of tie has a lot more things that the originals certainly do not. While its weapons complement is not particularly complicated, uh, there's a couple of Vulcan minigun turrets on the left and right side of the wings, which are apparently are pointing in reverse uh, for some reason. Uh, the front complement, while this is certainly not a round, a very round cockpit here. Uh, apparently the exiled engineer is getting a bit pissed off for no reason again. Um, we have at least some rocket launchers where I suppose the laser guns are, whatever they're called, and well, Gatling turrets, couple spotlights and the like. This thing is actually a lot tougher than it looks, I think, did I already say that? Um, it has both layers of shielding, which is becoming a common thing um, back when I made the slightly kind of terrible uh, video show trying to trying to showcase uh, the two different types of energy like the energy shields and deflector shields um, People were saying why not use both and initially I was against it But then again the more I'm using deflector shields the more I like them You can't get me to uh, stop using energy shields because they do fulfill a niche that deflector shields do not that is essentially giving blocks a mu well making blocks themselves very well tough they don't actually deform or break and also deflector shields have a problem with bullets sometimes 
uh, bullets get let through. The actual wings themselves, apart from what you can kind of see, um, they house a lot of the maneuvering thrusters for this thing. And this thing's a lot more... It's a lot nip. It's not the fastest vehicle by any means, considering its size. Like if I uh, was to sort of put myself roughly next to the next to this thing, you can sort of see it's quite a big. It's quite a big fighter, to put it one way. It, it would probably be a medium sort of uh, toughness fighter. The Borg cube and yeah, this lag is getting horrendous. Um, it's probably because there's a ship building over there, but uh, the the Borg cube being a freaking absolute brute of a fighter, slow but tough. This is definitely on the medium scale of things. Um, as I was saying, apart from thrusters, you can sort of see in between the solar panel here uh, and the thrusters behind these panels are essentially tons of en of uh, energy shields embedded in the wings. So we have two layers of shielding, and believe me, that saved my bacon a few times. Uh, I've been fighting some of the uh, corrupted uh, from the corruption mod, and a couple times they've managed to blast off my energy, sh uh, my deflector shields, but the energy shields are there to uh, handle the cooldown as you know deflector shields do and will wear out if get hit them enough but there's that 30 second sort of overload cooldown so the other shields can take over pretty much uh, and yes I am aware that I've just stuck a repair beacon on the side of this just in case this thing gets damaged the lag is really bad I do apologize you can sort of see why I don't showcase a l well everything on the survival world it is just laggy I'm only getting 40 FPS at best here um, at the back is some small-scale hydrogen um, engines here. There's even some helicarrier thrusters, and yes, for those who are wondering, while it's not very good at it, it this ship can fly in an atmosphere. Uh, I mean, testing it on Earth, it is okay at what it does, but this is primarily a space uh, a spaceship. So if I sort of hop into the uh, hop into the seat here, the actual cockpit itself is very cramped, but then it doesn't really it doesn't matter too much. And before you question me, yes, my feet are sticking out the window. Uh, simply, uh, simply put, I had a slight screw up uh, with one of the conveyors behind me uh, for the deuterium reactor. As yes, we do have a deuterium reactor on this thing, and I managed to fly my camera way too fast. I am mashing too many buttons. Come on, fight the lag for a freaking second. Uh, where is that reactor? It's somewhere in here. <laughs> there it is. So there is a um, there is a deuterium reactor in the center. Which gives the the deflector shields actually some degree of um, strength. If I go to the shield thing here, if it would actually let me click, I got 146,000 on the uh, in energy shields there, uh, deflector shields, with a 50% regen, so not too bad. So anyway, let's um, disconnect landing gear, zoom in a little bit, and take this thing out for a spin. So like I said, definitely in terms of m maneuver, well, it's kind of medium. Like I say, it's 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 good, on um, decent on offense and defense. I mean, it's probably, like I said, it's a hell of a lot tougher than the uh, standard TIE. Uh, most of those, you know, standard TIE fighter just seems to break within uh, a couple of shots here, but the actual acceleration, as you can see, if I fly towards our storage yard over here, is certainly respectable. I've chased down a few ships with this, um, and I think as well, considering I'm using the solar panels as a reference uh, for size here, and oh yeah, that, that, that particle effect you can sort of see in front of me, that is a slight bug I've noticed with uh, the deuterium reactor, it kind of does that as you accelerate the um, the particles from the reactor do seem to encroach on your visibility and uh, this is our storage yard if anyone is sort of wondering what this is, it's just a, a place to in this case store excess crap uh, and it does its job pretty well and yes I've had to make a super long uh, piston connector thing there, that's mostly to get the uh, the Dwarf's Fortress uh, to actually connect in, in an easy manner, so there is that. I think in time, because I seem to be, um, actually, my next video will be some miniature drones, just sort of FYI. Um, let's just say I was making an R2 unit um, from Star Wars and it kind of just, it didn't turn out that way, I just ended up making smaller and smaller drones. But I do like making small ships and, and small things, uh, although there is obviously a few exceptions, like the fucking Dwarf's Fortress, that massive ship that's the size of a station. Um, I've already showcased that thing, um, but I will be making a smaller tie because I found a mod uh, which adds smaller solar panels, like of uh, panels of various um, sizes, and I'll be using those as a reference. Because I suppose maybe, maybe it'd be kind of um, maybe maybe less of a fighter, I suppose, if I was to make a, a really small tie. Because I am definitely opposed to making ships uh, of any description that are really really weak. Um, I, I always like a ship to... If you're going to have a ship that's in a, in a more fighting role, 
I'd like the ship to come back, you know what I mean? Uh, unless it is a throwaway drone. Uh, a bit like the... What was it? The the virus ship I made? I can't remember the exact name. Uh, rewind on my engineer's playlist, you'll see what I mean. So, unless it is deliberately designed for a throwaway ship, I would not, you know, make things too feeble, as it were. And this is most certainly quite tough. And I suppose, going back to the small tie, I'd probably make it as a more personal uh, transport, just sort of like a personal shuttle. It just happens to be in the shape of a tie. Um, oh, and you know what the funny... And just one last fact before I wrap up. Another funny thing about this tie, and you can't see it, uh, but two things. Firstly, unlike the ties from Star Wars, uh, this has a jump drive. And I have actually been exploring the outer... Uh, the outer planets of, of my world. I've even I've been all the way to Dantus. Um, there's one of the volcanic worlds where my crosshair is. So well, I've been quite far, um, which is one nice thing. This thing can certainly travel, and also you obviously can't see this as well, but embedded inside the um, the not very round um, sphere in the center is a bunch of survival uh, gear. Meaning I've got uh, using the s small ship mega mod pack. Uh, I've put in some re uh, some small, uh, what was it, basic refineries, as well as some assemblers. So if if I get stranded somewhere for whatever reason, I suppose I can try to repair myself. Although realistically, due to the nanites, and yes, the nanite mod, to be honest, is part of the reason why there is so much lag. But doesn't I'm just building too many big things? That's basically what this is. Um, but nanites are way too simple. Cause like I I would just park this ship on the pad, and well, the nanites would repair everything. Assuming there wasn't blocks that were destroyed here, and uh, I just saw some meteors just flying on by. Meteors, not a problem with deflector shields. I do, that's one nice thing about deflector shields. It's just very much an anti-meteor thing. As long as you're on it, uh, if you're actually loaded, if you've loaded the shields properly by physically being on the station that the shields are a part of, then they are fine. But as you saw in Earthbase in the start of the video, if you're not, if you haven't been to that base in a while, the deflector shields kind of they're there, but they're also not there half the time. So you get kind of the odd asteroid that seems to have somehow and impossibly speaking make it through. And also for those who are wondering, speaking of all the asteroids back on Earth, I'm actually playing on uh, we're playing on Cataclysm um, sort of hostility for asteroids. So we're not not Armageddon or anything like that. But even on Cataclysm, these meteor showers are pretty few and far between. If I'm being honest. So, anyway, yes, I'm going to shut up now because it's 12 and a bit minutes of me rambling about at least my interpretation of a TIE Fighter. Interpretation is actually not the right word. My first, especially the first time I made one, uh, to be fair. And I put my spin on it by making it a lot more, you know, long range, uh, a lot tougher for shields and, and all the like. And, well, it's, it's a nice ship. Um, I, might, I might actually, uh, considering how um, slightly laggy and juicing the cube is, despite, I mean, this thing can certainly handle, you know, the hive ships from the corruption mods are much bigger foes um, than the tie. The, the thing is, that thing is so laggy, um, to be honest. Well, it's, one of the, it's one of the causes of lag uh, in this server. I might just remove it and just make a bunch of these things, because these things can handle their own if you're getting into difficulty. You know, if I had a couple of friends there, you know, one can just retreat for a second, let your shields recharge, and then you know, the others can get back into the fight. Basically, take take turns to sort of attack um, kind of thing. So, yes, like I said, I'm going to shut up. Let me know what you think of this um, random tie down below in the comments. Apologies for the lag once again. It's, it's probably been quite, uh, not quite a slideshow video, but lag nonetheless. Uh, anyway, yes, link to my Discord is in the description as always. And you know the drill by now. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.